It's the NFL on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC South. It's the Dirty Birds and the Buccaneers, next on Madden Football. The cannons of the pirate ship ready to fire in the north end zone. We can only be one place. Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa, the home of the Buccaneers. Set for a good matchup in the NFC South. So glad you were with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is a division you know a lot about. And the rivalries within this division always kind of gives you a good game when it's NFC South against NFC South. Yeah, and this is a division, Mike, that I've lived in for a long time in my career. And at one point, you can make the argument that it was the best division in football. But right now, it's the quarterback uncertainty. Do we have the quarterback of our future? Did we just draft one? Did we just sign one? What does that look like? Two of the four teams, brand new coaches taking over control to start this season. No division won fewer games last season. They've got a lot of work to do before this division can hold the candle to some of the others we see throughout the NFL. Avery Williams on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Falcons led out by their quarterback, Kirk Cousins. One of the big moves in the offseason, Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency. He had six years in Washington, the last six in Minnesota, and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, Man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Second down, Cousins. He bought as much time as he could, but he will finally be taken down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Not the sharpest of starts on offense here in early third and long. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. That's complete. He's got it to London. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Laying out, and he made the catch. What a play. 11 yards on the connection there. First down, Atlanta. So, Mike, you look back at the quarterback and you see that this ball is coming out of his hand and it's going to be low. And the decision's made. You've got to go down to the ground to secure the catch. First order of business. Your hands are between the ground and the ball, no matter what that looks like. And then once you secure it, you've got to roll, protect the ball, and under no circumstances can that ball move or hit the ground. And how often do we see a great catch overturned on replay? So it's not easy, but you get paid to catch them all. Cousins now on second down. The back of the end zone. He's got it. Darnell Mooney. Touchdown, Falcons. 
exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg, able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. Young Wei Ku now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Falcons will take a 7-0 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return is Sean Tucker he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Buccaneers led out by their quarterback Baker Mayfield he was in Cleveland in Carolina and then with the Rams but now year two and it feels like he's found a home Greg here with the Buccaneers one thing about this guy is he epitomizes the word resiliency. After a promising start to his NFL career, he hit a major wall. I mean, he was essentially, Mike, discarded by the entire league to the point where many felt he was destined to just be a career backup. However, once he got that second chance, he took it and ran with it. Now that his career is back on track, he's tasked with leading this team to many more victories. And if he plays up to that standard, he's going to give him a legitimate shot. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. It'll be a little short of that first down. Tackled at about the 37-yard line. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. And he's going to have a Bucks first down maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. We tend to make NFL offense very complicated, Mike, but sometimes it's as simple as this. Get the ball into the hands of your playmakers and just let them do the rest. A good spot here, second and a yard. Baker going to hand it to White. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. So you're on the sideline and you're watching the other team go right down the field and score on their first drive. As a play caller, you have to be careful that it doesn't throw you out of your initial plan coming into the game. They wanted to establish some ground game here early, and that's exactly what they did. On first down, right back to White. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. That is taken in by the veteran, Mike Evans. He is in. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Tampa. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. 
but it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. On is Chase McLaughlin for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Buccaneers come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here comes Drake London, the rest of that Atlanta offense, getting set to take over once more. And he's had an early impact on this game. Sensational start, and you know they're going to be looking his way more as this game goes on. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Cousins going to throw. That one is caught by Mooney. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Give to Robinson from the pistol. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. All even on the scoreboard. We'll have more from Tampa after this. Third and five. Throwing now, Cousins. To the right, Grant Pitts. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. On first down, Cousins will get this to Pitts once more. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. Of it. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Open man down the field, Mooney! And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. 
They'll come up here first and ten. Play action now. It's Cousins. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. On second down, Cousins again. That's caught right side. It's London. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, He's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Whose kick is good. And the Falcons will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. To return is Tucker. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The veteran Mike Evans, he's heading back out onto the field with the rest of the Tampa Bay offense. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and 10. He'll start this on the ground, and here's White. And he works his way through an opening, up past the 35. Nice run for eight on that one. Here's second and two. From the gun, it's Mayfield. And open downfield, it's Johnson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting it. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. On first and ten, here's Baker. With the middle of the field, he's got Evans. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Mayfield to throw on first and ten. A short one there to Otten. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. Baker to throw. This one caught left side by Evans. Third down, three to go. Here's Mayfield. That is caught 
He got Godwin. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. To throw is Mayfield. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Mayfield. And that is hot in the end zone. He's in. Chris Godwin. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. McLaughlin, good on the extra point. And the Bucks are on top. It's 14 to 10. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The Falcons offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He's got this to Bijan Robinson. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Throw over the middle, caught by London. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Cousins now. And that is incomplete. 
it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. So we're at halftime here in Tampa, and the Buccaneers are in the lead as we toss it an hour or so east to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman standing by for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All yours, Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Likely going to play a big role in who wins this one. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, here comes Tucker. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Buccaneers offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Here comes Otten in motion. They go play action with Mayfield. There's Evans. He's got it. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Well, any fear they might have had that they'd come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window. They're not content, Mike, here, just having the lead. They're looking to extend it. A couple more plays like that. They're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly first and ten out of the shotgun Mayfield right back to Evans he's got it again and he'll be hauled down at about the 35 yard line anytime you're facing a zone defense you're working from your first progression all the way through but when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming out. He'll find his running back, White. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, He's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. On the handoff, it's White. He'll push forward for about a yard. Big Brady Jarrett shuts it down. Here's a second and nine. They'll go again with White. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down.
to throw is Mayfield. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. So Chase McLaughlin will come in and they'll try a field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Buccaneers will open up a touchdown lead. It's now 17 to 10. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. McLaughlin hit the field goal a moment ago. 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 And now McLeod now to return. Trotting back out for their first involvement. Of 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 this come up with first down and ten. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And they'll finally track him down as he takes it up to the 45-yard line. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. They go play action with Cousins. Open man downfield, that's London. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. He finds the former 49er, that's Charlie Werner. First time they've looked his way all game long, but he comes through with the grab and a first down. Mike, I can't tell you how many corner routes I caught throughout my career, and there's really an art to it. At the top of the break, you have to give the quarterback what they call an indicator step. That's your cut where you set your angle, and then once that ball's out, go chase it down, and in this case, he's able to pick up the first down. Cousins now to throw on first down. coverage too good downfield they'll wind up taking him down and that's a big time play it felt like they really needed it Mike that was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels you're giving up big plays you're giving up fresh set of downs you need a spark you need something to change the momentum of the drive and we'll see if that was it right there Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. On the give, it's Robinson. And he will score. Bijan Robinson. Touchdown Atlanta. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme and 
Next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Koo able to add the extra point. And the Falcons will come back to tie things at 17. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Now it's Bucky Irving to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up now for second down and four. That's Palmer, the man in motion. A second down throw for Mayfield. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. put a receiver in motion right from the gun it's Mayfield and this is going to be incomplete that is great work there making things difficult defensively it'll set up a fourth down and that's exactly how you teach it they want these defenders to time the hit that right when the ball gets there you separate the receiver from the ball and those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and make that play for your offense. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down trying to get it to Kyle Pitts and it's going to be third down Pitts is the man in motion throwing his cousins and that is incomplete Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense 
between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. Baker Mayfield and the Bucks ready to get back to work. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and will try to sustain it here down the stretch. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Throwing is Baker. That's caught left side by Otten. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Timing and trust, critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They'll try again here, second and 10. That's Palmer, the man in motion. On second down, Baker. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. He was trying to fit that one in to Mike Evans. And it'll be third down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Open man, left side, he's got it. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. You get in these situations, third down, tie game, fourth quarter. I mean, this is really where your quarterback makes his money. You are going to put your faith and say, all right, what is the best play for this offense to execute? And the game really rests in the hands of your quarterback. And he continues to come up with these third down pickups and continues to extend this drive. He's got a shot to come away the hero and win this game here late. Here's second and six. They'll run here. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. This throw left side taken in by Johnson. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. This one has plenty of legs. And it is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. 
Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Falcons' offense ready to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. Pitts is the man in motion. Second down, Cousins. And he might have waited just a bit too long there as he throws it incomplete looking to set up the screen but the defense wouldn't give him the time this has really been the story of this entire game Mike I mean this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much spun the jump and they've already recorded a couple of sacks a handful of close calls and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame that's going to be dropped underneath for Robinson and a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. That's taken in. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. They wind up with a gain of 11 on fourth down. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. That's caught. Ray Ray McLeod and they'll get about half of what they needed it's a pickup of five and sets up second and five outbreaking routes Mike especially outside of the numbers everything is about the timing if you're late with the throw you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six and that one knocked away it's incomplete the game is there for the taking. They control their own destiny, but this brings up a really big third down here. But remember, they don't have to force it and push the ball past the sticks. Even if they come up short, they still have fourth down in their back pocket to try to extend this drive and see if they can pull out the win here late. They'll drop to throw. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. His second catch of the drive. This one... Good for 15, and a first down. And now we're at the point of the game, Mike, where someone has to step up and make a play. It's exactly what this quarterback and his receiver did. It gives them now a fresh set of downs and a chance to go down and make this game very interesting. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Throw over the middle, caught by London. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He pulls it in around the five. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And you see these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got... And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play.
And this is where it pays to have a strong arm to throw this sort of outbreaking route, Mike, towards the boundary in tight coverage. You got to have a lot of faith that you're going to get that ball there. If you're a little late or this ball is underthrown, it could result in a pick six the other direction. Instead, he fires it and he puts it on a line, and the result is a touchdown. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. To return is Tucker. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and Baker Mayfield ready for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful he just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Here's first down. They send Godwin in motion. On first down is Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. Open man downfield, that's Godwin. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. They'll come up for first and ten. Throwing is Mayfield. He'll take a shot here. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. So it's a win for the visiting Falcons. What a finish to this one. The defense comes up with the interception in clutch time to seal it on the final play. And the defense walks off the field with the victory for their team and that'll do it for my partner Greg Olson for our entire team I'm Mike Tirico this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports with that we say so long everyone